Hi again, this is Dubstep, and I'll be showing you today how to create some wall hack effects which you can also use for everything, whatever you want with. Anyway, this is what it should look like at the end. It just takes a while for me to render because my PC sucks, and yeah, I'm just going through it frame by frame so you can see what it's could look like. Well, yeah, let's read all the effects. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know how to record a scene in wireframe mode, um, you'll need to watch my previous tutorial uh, for Chroma Key. Okay, right now I've just some um, randomly recorded scene, which I did in a bot match, so. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to add another video track and I'm going to put my wireframed scene oh, above the one I recorded. Okay, just let me make some more adjustments at it. Oh, and by the way, um, if you're seeing something like that, that's not a uh, those, there are those black things on the left and the right. You can just uh, put 69 TB right screen to it, and that's how it should look like that. Okay, now just let me cut it. Uh, right there, and uh, wait a sec. Okay. For now I'm just going to speed it up a bit to about 2.0, should be good. Okay, right now I'm just searching for the point where the Rahim I'm just shooting and well, there it is, I'm going to cut it right at the point I'm shooting. Okay, now I'm going to put this one right there where I cut. So for now I'm going to create the effect which you have seen. You need to put, uh, click on the event panel, Roma, can pan crop him or anything, uh, whatever it's called. I don't really care. Yeah. So check the mask box and yeah, just draw a quick shape like me. And then you should get something like that. Right now, uh, wait a second. Just let me make some adjustments like that. It does not have to be perfect, but it should look pretty well. Okay, for now I'm just going to leave it at this point. Add a, another keyframe. Put those right all the way to here. Okay. When you've done that, you should get something like that move kind of over the screen. Now you'll just have to add some feather on the beginning and on the end so that it's fading in and fading out. Okay for now it looks pretty boring and there's no real effect and well, I'm going to just add the colors which I've created in my previous tutorial for the colors. Those blue runs should look like that then. Um, and for now, I'm just going to add the magic bullet. Looks sweet. Plugin. I'm going to add it two times. Okay, for the first one, I'm going to choose Diffusion Max. And for the second one, I'm going to choose Maxi Calling. And then it should look like that. And that's our effect. 